The ancient philosophers that emerged during classical antiquity were some of the finest the world has ever known. From Aristotle to Zeno, the intellect that was exuded during this period was so ahead of its time, their ideas and principles still hold immense value to this day. If you want to enhance your level of thinking, take note of the seven rules of wisdom. Number one, expand your horizons. The universe is much larger than the office cubicle. Only those that dare to step outside their comfortable homes will know what lies beyond the horizon. Changing your surroundings can change your thinking. As Seneca said, look at the stars lighting up the sky. No one of them stays in the same place. If you really seek enhanced wisdom and personal growth, you must step beyond your local boundaries, whether that's relocating or traveling. The further you go, the more you will gain. Number two, fool's gold. The most foolish among us place their worth on their wealth and not on their value. Money cannot buy wisdom, and unchecked greed will destroy any person in time. Epicurus sums this up so simply. If a little is not enough for you, then nothing is. Focus on building your intellect and virtue. Realize money is just a tool, not your score in life. People who focus only on money allow their other faculties to crumble and any foundation built on sand will soon see the sea. Number three, know what you control. Marcus Aurelius was at one point the most powerful man on earth. Despite his status, he noted, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. In the modern world, anxiety and stress have become silent killers. If you allow yourself to be overwhelmed by things that you have no control over, your life will end long before your death. Accept what you can't control and focus your power on what you can change if you want to make real progress. Number four, kindness counts. Only the strongest and most intelligent people have the capacity for kindness. Cato the Younger summarized, I begin to speak only when I'm certain what I'll say isn't better left unsaid. It takes a deep level of understanding to be kind to others. And it takes even more so to be kind to those that don't deserve it. Getting angry with someone is easy. But holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. It will only harm you in the long run. Not only is kindness better for humanity, it is a much wiser way to approach hostilities and life in general. So always remember, kindness counts. Number five, value true friendship. Friendship is one of the most beautiful things because you can only experience it if you put yourself on the line. Open up and share the embarrassing parts of your story. Cicero explained this emotional question by saying, friendship improves happiness and abates misery by doubling our joys and dividing our grief. The definition of friendship is a state of mutual trust. So clear out the fake friends and focus on people that you can trust if you want to live your best life. Number six, sound mind. If you live in any modern city, alcohol and drugs are never far away. The scary thing about alcohol and drugs is that they actually work. They will actually help you escape pain. But escaped pain never made anyone stronger or wiser. As Pythagoras explained, 
Strength of mind rests in sobriety, for this keeps your reason unclouded by passion. True freedom is only achieved by overcoming the struggle within. We all have difficult moments, some more than others, but overcoming these moments is where wisdom and strength is formed. Number seven, this life is yours. The moment you accept that this life is your responsibility, that no one is coming to save you, that no circumstances are responsible for how you think, you will begin to approach life differently. The first and greatest victory is to conquer yourself. To be conquered by yourself is of all things most shameful and vile. Plato Things will go wrong, but blaming others or making excuses will only corrupt your own thought processes. You can create any life you want when you choose to accept responsibility of creating it. It's time to begin working on your greatest masterpiece, your life.